Hi all, welcome to this course on PPC. Today we'll be learning about factor influencing effective capacity. What is capacity or effective capacity? Whatever products or services which we are delivering, if it is delivered as per the need of the customers, then it is generally called as our effective capacity without any inventory if the products or the services are generally delivered to the customers then we say that it is an effective capacity so before going into that we first learn about that capacity planning which refers to determining what kind of labor and equipment capacities are required and when they are required capacity is usually planned on the basis of labor or machine hours available within the plant thus capacity planning is planning for quantity or scale of output so the best example or for general example of this effective capacity can be determined by the planning of a house or whenever we want to construct a house we want to find out the effective capacity of laborers which are required the things which are required and the contractor or the supervisor who will be looking after it so based upon that if everything goes properly then only our delivery or then only our construction will be completed as per our requirement that is what is the importance of effective capacity. so what are the factors affecting this effective capacity or capacity plan it is the level of demand it is the cost of production it is the availability of funds and the management policy the level of demand based upon the level of demand the amount of products which are needed that will be generally delivered to the customers like for example during this covid pandemic there was an there was an extreme demand in the case of these masks and sanitizers so as per it there were many brands and many products which were available for usage of masks and even sanitizers that's what is is how the capacity and the demand is generally applicable or generally suitable and here as the capacity is in a horizontal manner or when the capacity is in a straight manner without any decreasing or increasing then we'll be having the demand to be sometimes increasing and sometimes to be decreasing is what we are seeing in the first case when the demand is in a zigzag manner or it is sometimes it is increasing and sometimes it is decreasing then based upon that the demand curve also depends upon that and also the third one when there is management of the demand or even when the capacity as per the capacity when the demand is increasing as the product is newly launched and then it again goes in, increase and finally it decreases when the once the product life cycle is completed so this is how the capacity and the demand are interdependent as we can see in these three gap, graphs similarly the cost of production what is the cost of production what is the per unit price which is being produced as a final product depends upon the or gives us the cost of this production and this cost of production is completely different from that of maximum retail price which we are generally obtained in our retail units or retail printed goods and again based upon our availability of funds also we will be having the effective capacity like if we have plenty of funds then we can utilize it properly for the proper development of our man, uh, for our main material and money or utilization of that money properly in different ends will give us a proper result or a good result and finally the management policy if support from management and instant decisions with correct decisions with correct people is properly being done from the management then definitely will be going to yield better results and better output in case of this effective capacity or capacity plan so this is how we are generally planning for capacity in different fields thank you